what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back we're about to jump into some spartacus season 2 episode 4 he's here today and you already know your boy is let loose on these reactions man this week rest of this week and next week is going to be epic for this channel because your boy has been quarantined if you have not seen that video make sure you go and check out that video terabyte reacts has been quarantined <laughs> okay make sure you check out that video to know what to expect for the upcoming two weeks ahead of us so yes man um we're here and we are live and we're going to um we're not live i don't know why i just said that but yeah man let's crixus has been captured by asher needs to die at some point i want to see him die he needs to go you know what i'm saying he's the little finger of this world and i cannot stand his ass <laughs> but in any ways man spartacus got escaped when we found nivia we lose crixus man and now animaeus and crixus is going to be in the hands of asher but they still don't have spartacus so that is yet to be seen glaber is celebrating in the arena um but but he don't know what's going on because he thinks they're gonna get spartacus he thinks that they're gonna capture spartacus so he'll be able to justify what he just announced but he's gonna be disappointed of course they're gonna torture crixus to find out um where spartacus is or where they're residing or whatever um of course we know crixus is not gonna give that up Navia is, is saying Navia, is it Navia or Navia? I think it's Navia, right? It's safe. Hold on. Um, so yeah, I thank you guys so much for tuning in as always, and I will see you guys for the review. All right, so we're back with a review for Spartacus season two, episode four, man. It was cool. We learned the faith of certain things that are going to happen. Of course, um, as we see it go along, we see Crixus arriving back at the Batiatis house, right? <laughs> you know, where he left. I mean, it's, it's so, um, I guess it was too much of a good set. You know what I'm saying? And, and also the meaning to, to give the writers a base to go off of for season two. Because, I mean, the Batiatis house, they didn't necessarily have to bring that back or bring that back into the story. But because the set was already there, you might as well use it. And I'm I'm happy that they're doing that. I'm happy that they're kind of reestablishing certain things. Because there's a lot of memories there. There's a lot of haunting memories there. There's a lot of things that every time you see something going on at the Batiato's house as a viewer, you're like, oh, shit, I know this place, right? So it's like that sense of they're playing on your sense of nostalgia also um, of season one. Because you already relate to what's going on. You're just curious to see what's going to happen next. And I'm glad they're doing that. So Lucretia is still on her thing about, you know, the gods and whatever, whatever. But it doesn't seem like things are working out. She just has these words of wisdom. Um, things are not exactly working out exactly how she wants them or she thinks the gods want them to work out. But, you know, in any case, some things are happening and they're getting close. They get close and clou closer. And now Argon is back with Spartacus. So that was pretty cool. Navy is saved. Everybody that was with Spartacus is dead. The only person that's left is Nasir, Nivia, and Mira, I think her name is. So, yeah, man. So that was pretty cool. Argon came back. I thought it was more Romans, but it turns out it was Argon. So that's pretty cool. Um, Lucretia talking to Crixus and telling him, don't get happy just because I didn't choose you for dead today. I, because I want to savor it when they kill you. I want you to die in the arena and without glory and honor. So you feel it, right? So that was pretty cool. Um, I'm, I'm waiting. 
I'm waiting, man. You know the 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 the, the episodes are getting. I think it's only ten episodes in the season. So, um, yeah, ten ten episodes. So, um, I don't know what how they're going to, you know, keep topping and top. I mean, it's it's crazy to think that every episode of the show, the last the 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 next one is better than the last one. You know, and and so on and so forth. It's it's just to the point where where you're like you're so in such anticipation of watching this show. You know what I'm saying? Like I want to do as many episodes as I can between this week and next week. Also, so you're gonna see a lot of Spartacus reactions. You're gonna see a lot of the other TV shows and anime that I do on this channel. Um, so next week I'm gonna try to mix in some things. I know next week is music week but i'm gonna concentrate on music for the most part i'm gonna do more music than i do anything else but i'm gonna throw in a few episodes here and there of the other shows just because i'm gonna be home for the whole time right i'm gonna be home for the whole time and i don't want that to hinder what we're doing okay so i don't want anything to be hindering to what we're doing so um so you guys are lucky that i've been quarantined okay so i'm home all the time you know um full day 24 well not 24 hours y'all don't have access to me for 24 hours no <laughs> so i'm I, i'm happy to be home because i get to do reactions um so yeah man thank you guys so much for tuning in there's not much to review about this episode this is just a great episode progressing the story the only thing that i that I would really want to talk about it. I didn't touch on is what's happening between Elithia Glaber and what's this dude's name? Vicinius. I think Vicinius, I think is his name. So the, the little, the younger girl that Elithia is kind of jealous of, you know, tried to get with Vicinius, but Elithia wants Vicinius because he's a, he's kind of more respected, even though he's a praetor, just like her husband right now he gets a lot more respect you know what i'm saying is like because the father already had told glabber that hey man you know you're just a praetor in title like you don't the power you don't have that you know what i'm saying like and it's kind of like the same thing glabber is kind of in it's so funny to see him in basically a, a parallel position to where um um Batiatus was you know what i'm saying like it's kind of like the same it's kind of like the same position because it's like you're trying to get up there but people are telling you that you'll never be you get what i'm saying you'll never be you're just you're just a lanista <laughs> you know what i'm saying you'll never be a a, a senator you'll never be uh um you know you'll never get into politics you know even though he's trying so hard he said the only reason is because you're married to the daughter. You know what I'm saying? That's the only reason why you have the, this title in the first place is just because of my daughter. Plus, the whole thing of Spartacus is kind of could be blamed on him. Um, Glaber also could be blamed on him because he's the one that brought Spartacus into this whole thing and didn't kill him on the spot. He brought him, put him into slavery, um, and then all of this stuff coming all the way down from from you know the falling out between him and Spartacus him being sold to Batiatus or brought to Batiatus whatever the situation was um all of this could be blamed on him everything that transpired can be blamed on him people you know they see this just like how we do so it's just I'm just looking forward to see how things are going to go because it looks like because of what lucretia did it looks like the father is going to dissolve the marriage that's going to leave glabber who knows who knows man you know far-fetched but suppose he joins the resistance though you know what i'm saying he's like yo i'm taking all my roman soldiers and we coming for all y'all 
<laughs> okay. You know what I'm saying? We coming for all of y'all. I'm going to join Spartacus. Let's make a deal, Spartacus. Let's make a deal. Okay. That's very far-fetched, but that's just a theory. Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, man, you guys are awesome. You guys are the best. And I thank you guys for tuning in each and every time. Just make sure you leave a like before you leave, a comment before you leave. And subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell so you know when more Spartacus is coming out. And I will see you guys later. Terabyte Reacts. We out of here.